Nothing to see here. Just trying on all my winter clothes. I'm gonna need a little help. Can you help me narrow these down? I really can't keep all of these. <laughs> hey cuties, Courtney here of Color Me Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a holiday haul. Holiday, celebrate. I have bought probably too much stuff for holidays because I like dressing up. It feels like the one time a year where everyone goes as extra as I am normally. So of course I had to take full advantage and buy all the sequins and sparkles and all of the glam holiday things. If you missed yesterday's video then you don't know that I'm doing Vlogmas this year which is basically where I post a video every single day from now to December 25th. Right now it's currently midnight so it's technically day two of Vlogmas so I thought I would start filming a holiday haul for you and just kind of show you some of the outfits that I'm going to be wearing this holiday season in case you want to twin with me. When I started sorting through all the clothes I wanted to show you in the haul, there was a lot, like three videos worth a lot, so I decided to separate them out into three individual videos. This is the first one, and this is going to be focused all on Christmas colors. So we're going to use a lot of solids, but don't worry, it's not boring at all. We use a lot of luxe fabrics and fun things to kind of amp it up for the holiday season. Without further ado, I'm going to try them all on for you, link everything below. I'll tell you about how I would wear it, how I would style it, I will share what sizes I'm wearing. Everything you need to know, I'm basically your shopping best friend for the holiday season. So let's do this. Let's try on some clothes. This isn't really part of the haul, but this is part of Old Navy's holiday campaign. They always have good like holiday jammies. They always have like a lot of deals. This one was in a ad with Kiki Palmer, so that's why I bought it because I love Kiki Palmer. And then my pants are just old pants that I've had. I think I got them at New York and Company, but they're very comfortable for the holidays. Here's all the red that we're gonna try on. I sorted these by color, so we're gonna do all the reds, all the greens, and then maybe a few other colors. The first thing I'm going to try on is this red corset. I've worn this a ton on Instagram, like actually a lot, and I think now I have this in maybe seven or eight colors. I have kind of a big rib cage, so I went with the eight and 10 size. I've worn this corset so many ways including all over Central Park with these jeans and a bunch of different fur coats. I thought it changed a bit, so my jeans don't fit me as much. This pair fits, but it's like the only pair that fits right now. So if you're in the same boat, then we're in this together. So red corset tops could be worn so many ways. A leather jacket, you could wear it with a denim jacket, you could wear it over a dress, you could wear it over a t-shirt. Just unlimited options, truly, and I think that's why I bought so many colors of them. I also got this red leather jacket, which I think is really cool. I used to have a really awesome red leather jacket that I got at the Coach Sample Sale when I worked there. It was like, it was like red orange colored. I don't know where it went, and I'm very sad. I have a lot of leather jackets that are medium, but do you guys see these like very cute chubby arms? Sometimes it makes it challenging for me to wear a medium sized jacket, especially over a sweater, and I won't be able to lift my arms, but look, I can do so many activities. I mean cute, right? Just a leather jacket always looks cooler over your shoulder, but that's like not realistic. We're all gonna wear it like a real jacket. This is a Levi's leather jacket. It's kind of ironic buying leather from like people who do denim. Tags are still attached. I have not worn it yet. I actually got this in a few colors. This jacket comes in plus sizes too, which is very exciting. I've had a hard time finding plus size corsets. I always like to link things in multiple sizes for you guys because I know our cutie community is so awesome and diverse. But it's been kind of hard to find like good plus size corsets, which makes me annoyed. I hope someone starts making them soon. The next thing's kind of weird. <laughs> It is, I don't really know what it is. It's like gloves, but also a jacket, like literally gloves, see? But also a jacket, I don't know. I'm really into long gloves right now. I will have to do another video about all the accessories. When I found this, I was like, let me get it and see what it's like, so you don't have to. I will be the guinea pig. This feels wrong. It's maybe cool, on someone else <laughs> like my shoulders are a little broad for this so I wouldn't usually like puff them out and have a full arm sleeve but I, I don't 
hate the idea. For the right outfit, I don't know, I'm really trying to make this work, guys. Because <laughs> I, I want this to be a thing. I just don't know if this is my thing. Because one red corset is not enough, I got three. So this one has like this off the shoulder moment and it's pleather, so it's shiny. This one's strapless and it has a bow moment. I actually got this style in a dress as well. So I'm not sure I'm gonna keep all that I got. I got this guy at Anthropology. Comes in a few colors. Well, this is very cute. I like that it's festive. A few years ago, I wore a huge giant bow, a la Oprah, out around New York City, and this kind of reminds me of that. But it's not as big and wonderful as mine, of course. You could pair this with like a long flowy skirt, you could wear it with jeans like I'm wearing it, you could wear it with like leather pants or a mini skirt, that would be really cute. There are a lot of great options. Truthfully, if you're going to like a corporate party, you maybe don't want to be shoulder free, but you could put a blazer over this and it'd be really darling. Let's try on this other corset. So I feel like a superhero in this one, like this is giving me WandaVision. I think it's the fabric choice. Again, I would probably wear a bra underneath this because I have ample room and my girls are kind of squished down otherwise, especially because I have this like lace bralette on underneath. This one's cute. I don't know if I need three red corsets, so which one of the three should I keep? This dress from Anthropology. It's kind of like a paper bag dress. Has pockets. Always a plus. This would be cute a few ways. So you could put like a lace top underneath. I have a lace turtleneck that I've had maybe for five years and I wear it all the time because I'll put it under tube tops and stuff if I want to be a little bit more conservative or just warmer. You could put it under a black turtleneck with black tights and black boots. That'd be really darling. This would be great for a holiday party or anywhere where you plan on eating because it's so roomy. It has an elastic waistband here. So I'd probably put a belt on it because I think that just looks nicer. It would look cute with a jacket. This one is from a Paris, and this jacket is actually made from plants. And I have probably 12 faux fur jackets, one in every color. This one's a little bit more casual and it's actually softer, probably because it's not sustainably made like the other one. This one is UGG, but it has a hood, which is nice. It's that good combination of like cozy and casual, but also cute so you could wear it over a dress to a holiday party or you could totally wear it like over sweatpants if you wanted. If you wanted to go a little bit more luxe, you could go with this like chocolate brown. Looks nice with red. This one's from J. Crew, and it's super fuzzy. It is a little bit thicker, a little bit warmer than the other ones. And kind of gives me like a vintage vibe. All right, let's try on this red velvet dress. So this is a Sugar Thrills dress. They also often run small. This is a large and I'm squeezing into it, but they do do plus size stuff. So you could go up a few sizes. This is giving me like witch vibes in a, in a good way. So this is kind of like a heavier velvet material. It's really great for winter and the holidays. Maybe I just am getting like WandaVision Scarlet Witch vibes. This would be actually really cute if you layered a corset over it. Like take this one that we were wearing before, the tool corset, and layer it over it. It has like more of a high-waisted, almost baby doll shape. Tina sent me this outfit and I'm gonna try it on. This is from her new clothing line. Look, that's her name on the tag. She was so kind to gift me this. She said it ran a little small and she's teeny tiny. I believe she wears a size small. So I was originally gonna get the large because I usually get large in anything here since I have kind of a bigger rib cage and this dress is like straight up and down uh, anything straight up and down give me an extra large give me a 2x just because that the zipper is really well done it's over here on the side and it's pretty invisible and what's cool about this collection is that it's totally convertible so I don't know if you could see but the sleeves of this like the sleeve detail comes off this top fits beautifully. 
spoon and then we're gonna squeeze the butt into it. It's actually not as bad as I thought. I thought I'd be really squished in here, but it actually fits. I have a lot of room here. And what's cool about her collection is the convertibility. So this is the underlying top. It has snaps. So I can put this on underneath like this. So I would recommend putting this on and then putting this on over the top. So because this is a little bit big, this actually might help the dress fit better because I can snap it up and then it will keep it up. Now here's the skirt. Wow, so this has like this really pretty velvet detail here. If I didn't want to have this big tool dress underneath it, I could have sized down to a large, but it has three different hook settings. So I can go in on the tightest and then I'm okay. So this is beautiful. So you put this over and you have like a convertible outfit. This is how I would wear it. And I knew that when she, when I made my select, I knew I would probably never wear a mini dress like this, just not my favorite for my body. Looks darling on Tina. Cute. So what I like about this is that it's open like this, but it actually fills all the way around. So I think this is how I would wear it, with the skirt, without the tool overlay, but I love that that's an option that you can add on. Congratulations, Tina, on your amazing collection. This dress, which it's kind of a tent dress. It's kind of fun. I look like a full Hershey's Kiss. It has pockets. So I also bought the same dress in green. So this is from ASOS. There is a full lining. The brand is called Evernew. The green feels a little bit more like jewel tony. This one I would belt, the other one I would wear out. We are moving from red to green. So this is also from ASOS. So this guy, this top, not really obsessed because I was excited about the skirt. So if the skirt doesn't work, oh, it's like shorts? I have questions and comments and concerns. I have one pair of shorts like this. I thought it was a skirt, but I have one pair of shorts like this and I love them. Okay, wait, the shorts are kind of cute. They're really short and you would have to wear like tights or something. But these remind me of my red shorts that I have. And I always, I wear them to Disneyland every year because they're so comfy. Trusting the process. All right, so what do you do with this? Is it like that? Is it just like a giant bow in the back? You know what? I don't hate it. I think hair up for sure, because otherwise it's a lot. I'm not mad about it. I think I'm gonna keep the shorts and potentially order the top in a size that fits. So I got this green dress that I'm not gonna put on for you only because it takes like my mom's help, Paris's help. It's very cute. I have it in red. It has this very long lace up back. Look, you have to do all of these laces, but I love this dress so much I had to get it in green. I just do not have 45 minutes to put it on for you. So I have this in a few colors. It's actually the same one I wore when I did recreate Carrie Bradshaw's look. All right, let's try it with a blue skirt. It's from Anthropology as well. So high, low, like trumpet hem. Very cute, right? I would probably be a rebel and turn it to the side. It's challenging because there is a pocket there, but I think you could get away with it. And I, I just like a side, like high-low that way. It's more fun. But this would be the correct way to wear it because it has pockets. I would not wear these together because I think the colors are wrong. I wanted to show you this green coat. Yeah, so I would like to do a Marvelous Mrs. Maisel photo shoot. So this gave me those vibes and I was like, okay. Whoa, first of all, this is very heavy. I have a coat from the same brand a few years ago though. And it's one of my favorites because you see how it like, is like such a flare coat. 
But now that I think about it, the coat that I have that I love like this is actually green. So I can't have both. Don't love the leopard. I mean, it's fine, but I don't love it. I like green and leopard together. It's just this leopard is too light for me. Keeping with the corset theme, I have this one from Anthropology. So I wouldn't, I would not call this a corset actually. I would just call it a crop top. But I want to love this. It's just not doing it for me. It's like the ruching's kind of like in the wrong place. The bows are just not, I'm not obsessed. I think it has potential. And I think if I wasn't wide here, I would probably like it better. But I just think because of all this, it just makes me look like I'm stuffed into it. Oh, so I'm going to try the same tool corset, but in brown. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been really into this chocolatey brown, and truly this is not the right color. It needs to be darker for me to be interested in it usually, like richer. I think Zendaya had one thing where she actually did look like a Hers Hershey kiss in the best way. As it what happens with everything she wears, I was like, I need it. So I think that's what started it. This one is a little too close to my skin color. I was hoping for like something really rich and chocolatey like more of this color. But I did get this darling teddy jacket. Don't think that I would wear this like this, <laughs> but I would wear this with like some kind of pant. Obviously what I do is photography, it's gonna look like I'm naked. And if that's an illusion you're trying to create, I fully support it, it's just not my journey. But I do like this color palette, just these are the wrong fabrics. Truthfully, a lot of color palettes will work, but if you use the wrong fabric choice, not gonna work. I do like the color palette, but the fabric choice is wrong. Truthfully, it's better without the jacket, then you can see the color palette. It's very medieval though. Don't you feel? All right, let's see if this fixes it. This is a lot better. I still, I think the skirt is too long for me and just doesn't do anything for me. So, if we did with this with the satin corset, green corset, a lot better. Still don't need it in my life, but just switching your fabric can really change everything. And this one, I'm so excited about this. I hope it works out. So I've been wanting one of those jackets with like fur on the sleeves. They're actually really in style right now, but they kind of give a retro vintage vibe. So I've always liked them. And then this year I wanted one in this color specifically, and I found one that looked amazing and it was literally $1,200. And I was like, no, I'm not spending $1,200 on that jacket even though it looks gorgeous. So, I found this one at Target, and it's kind of great. I mostly wear jackets open at the bottom because of that reason, just looks better on me. But it, this is pretty cute, I'm pretty happy with this. And that's the last thing that I'm trying on for you today. But we're gonna have to do some more hauls because I have more things. Thanks so much for watching this haul. I hope you got some holiday inspo for whatever you're gonna wear to whatever fabulous place you're going this season. Everything featured is linked below. All the size information is there too, so you can get shopping. Leave a comment and let me know what your favorite thing is, what you're buying, etc., etc. because if we're gonna twin, I wanna know about it. That's kinda like the best part of my job when someone sends me a photo and it's like, oh, I bought this outfit because of you, and I'm like, oh my gosh, we both look great. So, if, if that's you, make sure you do your job and send me a photo because I want to see. Until then, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you tomorrow because we're doing this every day until December 25th. Whew. Bye!